Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin remains in critical condition at a Cincinnati hospital, but his family reportedly says he's showing signs of progress. CBS 2's Steve Overmeyer has been following the story. He is in the newsroom. And Steve, what is the latest on Hamlin? Well, uh, DeMar Hamlin is currently sedated and on a ventilator as uh, doctors can work on him and complete his testing. His uncle said that DeMar is breathing on his own 50% of the time, which would be an improvement from when he needed the ventilator 100% percent of the time. The family also confirmed that he only needed to be resuscitated once as opposed to twice, uh, which was previously reported. Uh, there's very little information being sent out right now. The hospital is yet to reveal a statement and, of course, not allowing the medical personnel to, uh, to speak with the media. And Steve, what's been the response around the league? Well, every single team has actually changed their Twitter logo to um, the Pray for DeMar logo with the number three. There are practices. This is actually a practice day around the NFL, so uh, a lot of the teams, every team is holding practice, including his team, the Buffalo Bills, but they've revealed that there will be no media availability. Uh, the Jets are holding practice today, and today Coach Robert Sala addressed the tone of the locker room. Just open it up to the team in the team room. Just open it up for the guys to speak. Um, obviously, our doctors were in there if they had any questions for the docs, and uh, uh, gave the doctors the forum to kind of speak on that on that too. But um, a very hard situation, as I'm sure it is in, in every building in the uh, NFL right now. So, uh, just our thoughts and prayers to him, and uh, 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 praying for a speedy recovery. There's been an outpouring of support around the country. Millions of dollars are pouring into his charity and GoFundMe, which Mary has now raised more than $6 million so far. Yeah, the goal was 2500 and now he's at $6 million. Well, we th we're thinking of him and his family, too. Steve Overmeyer, Steve, thank you so much. Sure.